Hello, good evening. It's been forever, I feel like. It hasn't, but it feels like it. Ugh. Oh, goodness gracious. I appreciate you guys understanding about everything that has been going on lately and that Saturday night since you just couldn't happen. It just, it couldn't. But we are back. We are going to just make sure we're in the right spot. We are going to go over bricks. So, all right, I forgot one thing, but I can grab that. Um, every holiday season, and then a lot of times in the spring and summer, we release a special collection of bricks. And um, this is the first time ever that us consultants were able to get the bricks ahead of time. Usually, I tell you guys what they are, and there's a lot of times where I'm like, I don't know what it smells like because I haven't smelled it. All five brick scents are brand new scents, um, never before smelled. So um, we as consultants asked, we were like, can we please, is there any, any, any way that we can get them ahead of time so that we can sample them out and stuff like that. So if you are on the monthly mailer list, make sure you're watching because, uh, make sure you're looking for your mail because um, you will have a sample in your monthly mailer of all five bricks. If you are a box customer and you ordered a box this month, be on the lookout for your box because you too have a deluxe sample of each one of the five bricks. So, hold on, let me reach. So we always have, this is like the most awkward angle, hold on. All right, so we always have new people in our group. So I wanna talk about what a brick is just to kind of go over it and then, um, then we'll dive into the sets. So this is a bar of wax. We all know what this looks like, okay? We've got the eight cubes on the back. You throw one in your warmer, two in your warmer, three in your warmer, four in your warmer, whatever, okay? This is a brick. Big as my head. I tell you guys that all the time, big as my head, okay? Let's look at size comparison. Bar and brick, all right? Now, a bar is 3.2 fluid ounces and a brick is 17 fluid ounces so you have one pound of wax what do you do with a brick so a brick you're going to take it and you're going to cut one of these cubes in fourths all right one two three four so i always feel like i'm screwing this up how i say it but so if you cut this in fourths this fourth up here is the equivalent to one cube, all right? So if you have a mini warmer and you stick one cube, okay, in your mini warmer, you're gonna stick one fourth. You're gonna stick this little corner here, all right, in your warmer, and that's gonna be the equivalent. If you stick, if you're somebody who sticks three cubes in your warmer, then you're gonna only have one fourth of this cube left, and you're gonna stick the rest of it in your warmer. Um, I'm usually a three cube um, warmer in my kitchen warmer, but when it comes to bricks, I just throw the whole brick in there. It fits. I'm not worried about it or anything like that. It just what, and I'm lazy. But, and if you've never cut our wax, it's so it's it's a little. I want to say it's a little bit harder than butter, <laughs> depending on what butter you use. But it slices with very little effort. Like, do not feel like oh I gotta cut through it it's not it is really not a big deal it's very smooth it's not hard it does not take like a ugh, whole bunch of effort it's a very easy thing to cut so now the five bricks that we're going to talk about tonight are brand new scents nobody's ever smelled them you will not smell them until you get your samples but we're going to also say something about club in Cincy Club. You have, I think, 16 or 17 scents that are available in brick that are normal scents. When I say normal, um, I think Welcome Home is one of them. Um, I think Baked Apple Pie is one of them. I think Black Raspberry Vanilla. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I know I just, somebody just asked me about this just recently and I sent her see a lot of people have never had a brick a lot of people have never had a brick they don't know what a brick is they don't know how to use it and it can be intimidating because when i say you're going to get a pound of wax you're like what the hell so don't don't let it scare you i did literally just sit and there we go i was like i know I just sent somebody what brick 
bricks are available in club. Yes. All right. So in club, and this is a club exclusive, you have to sign up for club and then you can get these bricks. Baked apple pie, black raspberry vanilla, blue grotto, blueberry cheesecake, clean breeze, coconut lemongrass, jammy thyme, Johnny Appleseed, Luna, perfectly pomegranate, sea salt and avocado, skinny dippin', squeeze the day, sugar cookie, sun-kissed citrus, vanilla bean buttercream, and welcome home. Those are available in a brick. Now, besides getting a whole, whole bunch more wax, it's actually cheaper. So this is the equivalent to about five, I think it's 5.4 of these, all right? But it is priced the same as four bars. So this is gonna cost you, one brick is gonna cost you $24. Um, but you're gonna get five bars worth of wax. Does that make sense? Is that math working out? I, I know that that's what it is. I can never remember the decimal, if it's 5.2 or 5.4, but either way, it's a little more than five bars of wax, but it's priced the same as four bars of wax, even in club. So if you wanted, let's say you really, really love Johnny Appleseed and you want it in a brick, you can totally get it in a brick in your club at the $24, which is cheaper than buying it than five bars. Make sense? Um, so that's just that little blip because people are scared of bricks. Um, they don't understand them because it's not something that we have all the time. Now. On the flip side of that being that we do have bricks available in club, if let's say you love this one, okay, and it's available in a brick right now, you can add it to your club as a bar, not a brick. I know that makes it sound super duper confusing and I promise you it's really, really not. Um, bricks scare people because it is a lot of wax. Don't be scared of it, dude. I love them. Don't be scared of it. But, so say you're like, I just don't know if I'll ever use that whole thing, then here's what you do. You throw it in your Scentsy Club and make a Scentsy Club and get all of the brick, I mean the bars that you want so that you're going to get it in a much smaller version. Ask me questions. Just ask me questions, okay? So, let's, these bricks are going to be available. See, I'm making your guys' little sample sheet if you're on my mailer list. So, they are going to be available around the 25th of this month. They are while supplies last. Um, once they're gone, they're gone. Unless you have it in your club. If you have it in your club, then you can get it forever and ever, amen. So, um, there will also be a bundle. You could get two of them for $40. So that's saving you, what, eight bucks, I think it is? Um, and you can mix and match, or you can do a two of the same. But again, if you're on my mailer list, you will get this with all of the samples on there so that you guys can smell them and then get me your orders and we can go that route or you can add them to your club or however you want to do it. And some of these, I'll be honest, some of these are 100% year round scents. They are not like just the winter. They really aren't, but it, I also warm anything anytime. So let's start with Pink Poinsettia. Technical description is crisp, plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate because if I remember correctly poinsettias don't have any smell to them and I've warmed all of these I really have I've warmed them all because I had to make your guys' samples and you can see I've already sliced down the cube oh yeah it goes together so see, I've already sliced it. You can tell by the flower. So there should be two more down there. So this right here is the equivalent to one of these. Okay. It doesn't look like it. It really, you're like, mm, that ain't right, but it's true. So I smell orange, even though there's no orange in it. I do smell oranges. But to me, this is like a fruity scent but with a tiny bit of like spice in it which I'm assuming is the blackberry but I could use this all year round to me it is not super just winter or anything like that and to me yeah to me it is just a little bit of a deep fruity scent 
No, I can still smell. I got my smell back really fast. I didn't really, I only lost it for the 12 days and then it's back. But I still, I don't know what, I smell orange and lots and lots of stuff. <laughs> Apparently I like orange. Yeah, I think this is a, a to me it is a 100% year round fruity scent. It's just a deeper, don't think candy, don't think fruit punch. To me, it is just more of like those deeper fruit scents. I like it. I really do. So, pink poinsettia. Next one. Spiced eggnog. Now, I was not excited about this one. No, mine isn't. I'm My smell nor my taste. It came back. As soon as my fever broke, everything just trickled back in and it was fine. Um, ground cloves simmer in a festive blend of buttery rum and creamy eggnog. I will be honest, I was afraid of this one because we did have an eggnog scent a while, a few years ago, in the scent of the season bundle that will be coming out, and it wasn't that good. I was like, but this one is good. This one does not, and I do not like eggnog. I do not like it as a beverage. I think it's the weirdest thing on the planet, but, um... I think this smells like an iced sugar cookie. I do. Now, I know a lot of people who do not like it consultant-wise, but I think this one is a nice, creamy, bakery, like, kind of vanilla-y. I think it smells like an iced sugar cookie. That's what I do. Not super, super, super sweet, but just sweet enough. A tiny hint of like a spice like a cinnamon or a nutmeg just a just a hint just a tiny tiny hint I I personally really like it again I think this one could be used year-round I do think it would blend very well with a lot of like if you would want more of a spicier um, like a like cinnamon vanilla when we get that one again um, things like that. I feel like it would blend very well you too. <laughs> uh, I think it would go good with baked apple pie. Ooh. Mm, I bet you that one would go really, really, really good. So, spiced eggnog to me is a very nice, creamy bakery scent. That's what I think. So, that's spiced eggnog. I will be excited for you all to get your samples. Julie, you, did, you got your box. So, you should have samples of all of these in there. If you didn't, let me know. Because I think I put it in all of them, but I don't know. Alright. Next one is called a Sweet Orange Pomander. Pomander? How do you, I don't know how y'all say it, but Sweet Orange Pomander. Pomander. Technical. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. And Marty, you will get yours. I had I have yours all boxed up because yours had to go to bigger box. So this one to me is fall. This one is a fall scent. This one is heavy on the like the clove and the cinnamon. This one screen like if you like cedar cider, if you like cider meal, I really think you'll like this one. To me, it's got a. Now I don't smell orange in this one. I smell apple, but it's got that smell like that apple cinnamon smell. But is fall. This one is a hundred percent fall. If you like, like I said, if you like cedar cider, if you like cider mill, um, you like those, you'll like this one for sure. Cause it's just it's it smells like when you walk into like a country store. That's what this one smells like. And if you've ever walked into one of those country homey stores, um, you'll like it. That's this one a hundred percent. That's what it smells like. That that's the only way to describe it um vanilla cinnamon maple cinnamon stick warms buttery maple atop a whipped mountain of sweet cream I thought I was reading that one this one is light this one is a little bit lighter than I wanted it to be I wanted it to be very I like maple I didn't know I did, but apparently I like maple, and we've never really had a super duper good maple scent, and I was really hoping it would have heavy, heavy maple, but it doesn't. Yeah, it, 
yeah this one is on the lighter aspect it is not very strong it is not fill your room strong oh, but i bet you this would blend really good with eggnog mm, i bet you it would but it is good it just it is not overly strong and i know some people really want those strong scents so that's why i want to make sure that i let you know it is not on that very very strong aspect it is buttery you can smell that like rich butter scent in it and the cinnamon i do not have a strong maple scent in it and i think the whipped cream kind of heavy not heavies but lightens up the other scents i do want to blend this with eggnog though i really do it is good it is really really good it is just on the lighter end of it and i wanted more maple so there's no maple if you don't like maple then you'll like it but it is lighter it would be good because some of those heavy scents the cedars and the ciders and the the clove and the cinnamon some of those are too heavy for people a lot i do a lot of you do not like them they just say they are just too much this would be a good way for you to get that fall clove cinnamon type of scent but not be too much if that makes sense that's what that one would be the last one is fluffy fleece black currant and cozy musk bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope i think that's flower It smells like laundry. It smells 100% like laundry detergent of some sort. I don't know which, but like to me, and this one is 100% year round. There is zero reason you can't use this year round. It is clean. It is laundry 100% fresh out of the dryer. No excuses, no other. There is absolutely zero way to, ex to describe it any differently than it is 100% clothes out of the dryer. It's good. It is. It's a good one. Because remember, you need to switch those scents up. You need to have it. Like if you do the very, very heavy sweet orange and pomander, and then you're going on to your next set, you need to do something the exact opposite of it. Otherwise, you do get that nose blind where like, I can't smell it anymore. So always, always, always do something the exact opposite. If you do cider mill today, then when you go and switch it on Wednesday or Tuesday, you need to do something totally different. You need to do like... Um, perfectly pomegranate or you need to do like Christmas cottage you need to do something on the complete opposite spectrum a sun-kissed citrus um, to change it up because if you don't change it up and you do cedar cider then you do cider mill and then you do um, like sweet orange pomander and then you do clove and cinnamon if you do all of those back to back to back to back to back you're gonna burn out your nose it is weird but it is true and I know I've told you guys before but it used the analogy of a trash man okay um, or uh, a coroner, I had to think what they were called, a coroner. They deal with smelly things all day, every day. And you'll say to the trash man, I don't know how you can do what you do. It smells so bad. And he says, I don't smell it anymore. You get used to the smell. His nose is burned out because he's smelling that smells all the time. Makes sense? This is the same thing. It's not stinky smells, it's good smells. But if you are constantly smelling the same thing every single day, even though it has a different name, if it's undertones, if it, the tones of the scent are the same, you're going to burn out your nose. So always make sure you're doing a variety. So if tomorrow you do the pink poinsettia, which is, you know, on the berry fruity end, then the next day, go deep. Do the sweet orange pomander. Then the next day, do your fluffy fleece because that's on a completely different aspect. And then do your creamy bakery scent and your spiced eggnog okay but make sure that you are always changing up your scents so those five brand new bit the five brand new bricks will be coming out around the 25th of this month i will let you guys know when i have that exact date that's what we have as our date right now but as you know and if you don't know um lots of container ships are just floating around because of the fact that there's not enough people willing to work, drive trucks, things like that, unload trucks. So there is a backup. There is a backup at all of the ports across the whole entire nation where there's just not enough people there to unload the trucks. And then there's not enough truck drivers to take the goods to wherever they need to go. So we have 
that problem just like everybody else that you know we've got stuff but it's just sitting there because there's not enough room there's not enough people um so if these are delayed i will 100 percent let you know when i have the information i will let you know but at this moment in time we have them coming out on the 25th they will be 24 dollars each remember which is a deal um or you can do two for 40 which again is an even better deal um and if you a brick scares you i think if a brick scares you and you're like i really want to try them but i don't want to try them in a brick then start a cincy club and add all of them or the ones that you want to your Cincy Club, all right? Add them to the Cincy Club, get them in the bar, and then decide if you like them or not. If you don't like them, just delete them out of your club and you can delete your club. You can delete the whole entire thing. You do not have to keep it forever and ever if you do not want to. Um, you know, say you want to try four of them, but you don't want to try them in a big old brick. Then you start a Cincy Club and you add the four to your Cincy Club. They're going to deliver to you and they're going to be in bars. You're gonna, they're gonna deliver the bars to you and then you're gonna decide. If you're like, oh, I like two of them, I don't like the other two. Get rid of the two you don't like. Keep the two that you do like in Cincy Club. Don't delete your club because you still have two in there that you like. This way, when the bricks sell out or the bricks leave, you still have those two cents forever and ever and ever, okay? Um, and then we adjust your shipping and we go on about our business. It's a huge, huge, huge 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 perk okay um if you have questions about club ask and then remember there are the bricks that are club only exclusives that we could set up but again if you have questions ask bar brick that's the difference one pound of wax about five bars five a little over five bars price like four all right five of these one of these four of the four of these is the price of this all right i think that's it like i said you guys uh, who get your monthly mailer if you do not get a monthly mailer let me know and i will let you know how to get on the list you will be getting one of these in the mail there is a half circle sample you can kind of see it in there that's funny, you might be able to see. There's a half circle sample in there of all five cents. I do not know if it will get to you before they come out. I'm hoping um, because I'll be sending it to you when I send out your guys' um, warmer and scent of the month stuff. So I have to wait for that to come. Once we get off of here, I'm going to go and finish taping. I have to tape the other ones on here and stuff envelopes with the goal to have all of that ready for the warmer and scent of the month stuff so that I can get it out the door super quick. But I'm hoping it gets to you guys before the 25th. If not, there's nothing I can do about that. So if you guys have any, any questions, let me know. Marty, I will be getting your box out this weekend. I've got to get it all closed up. Um, I gotta work on that tomorrow. That's my goal tomorrow is to get the rest of the boxes out. Some are out and some are not. I was waiting on your other stuff to come. That's why you don't have yours yet. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Everybody have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.